All right, welcome everybody to episode five of Final Fantasy fourteen online. I'm just looking. We need to go find some ladybugs. Ooh, ladybug. I've forgotten how to do this. Is it right click? It's right click. And then it's one. Two. Oh, a star marmot. Two. One. Oh, I see. Yep, I just got a... What does three do? Oops, three's a bit deadly. Alright, so if I go into my log, right? Hunting log. Alright, I need to kill a couple more of those. Okay. Well, let's go. Out of range? Right, try this. Gotta be close to use your melee skills. Oh my gosh, leveled up. Now, this was another beastie that's on our thing. Okay. So before I go and pick on anything else, let's just have a quick look in our log. Hunting log. Alright, so we've completed these two. We now need to find a cactua, a snapping shrew. Alright, what do I do on my level up? <laughs> oh, I know. C. Probably nothing, it just automatically does its thing. Yeah, alrighty. What's this? Animal sinew. Marmot steak. I could use that, right? I could use it. Ew. All right. I don't know if I'm using the right thing. All right, we found our star marmots. Um, I need to slay one more ladybug. Fine. All right, we've done that. Deliver. Okay, I've got to go back to the gladiators guild. To do this. So let's go and do this. Back to the Gladiators Guild we go. I don't know who they are. Oh! Guys, I'm going to go quiet for a bit. I've got a small riot happening in the background. So uh, just bear with me as we... Um, as I uh, unmute my mic for a little bit.
Alright, now... Right, I'm not seeing any more missions inside. So, let's head on. Uh, I think I wanted to go out the other door, didn't I? Can I even do that? Oh, I can now. All right, am I lost again? Uh, I'm not sure. I think I might be actually. Yeah, where do I want to be? I want to be going in the opposite direction. <laughs> oh, I'm so hopeless at this game. Uh, or maybe I want to go out that way. No, I'm pretty sure I wanted to go... Where's my... Oh, maybe I want to go this way? Yeah, I want to go this way. I see. Oh my goodness. <sighs> okay. So where am I? <laughs> I know. Let's... um. We want to go straight ahead, hook a right... And hook a left. Uh, I think. Maybe if I um, if I did this. Yep. So why do I want to go that way when I need to go this way? I don't know. All right, I'm sure I'll I'll work it out. It'll be fine, fine. I tell you. <laughs> My goodness, let's try. I've entered a sanctuary. I've forgotten what it means um, about sanctuaries. Um, I'm really hoping it doesn't mean I can be PvP to death because that would just spoil all the fun of this game for me. So we hooked a, a something, and then we're going to hook a something else. There's my left. So we hooked a right, and we're hooking a left. And then we're going to go... Okay, we're going to go this way. Uh, I'm Maybe. I don't know, we could go this way. No, that's a blank wall. What are you doing? Oh, I don't know. A distraught lass who I can't help because I'm not the right level yet. I think those, like... Ooh, no, that's not an exclamation mark. Gate of Thal. It is... Okay, so Central Thanalan was where I wanted to be, but this looks different to the other part of Central Thanalan I was in. However, it does look like the area that had um, those little other monsters I wanted. Oh, I didn't think it liked me anymore. I need to learn how to fight again. I see. Oh, I already killed it. All right. So let's have a look in our in our log. It's H, isn't it? Aha. Okay, cactua, hammer beaks, anting workers, auth sprites. It doesn't look like we get to fight any of the others. However, I do have a marker on my map now. So why don't we? I know I've got to get better at this fighting thing. Okay. Snapping Shrew, that's what we're after. All right. I know, I'm not very good at this at all, at all. Fine. So snapping shoes, I'm pretty sure, were in our book. Oh, I've got a death ticket. Mm. 
Okay, so if I go H, yeah, so I've got to do three snapping shrews. Radio. Okay, Gladiator 4, Snapping Shrew, that's done. Okay, the 80 Sins of Sasamo. Hamily. Black Brush. Alrighty. So. Let's go this way. Uh, is that bad? A hooded Lala fell. It's got a quest marker over it. Oh, Sultan Tree. You're about to enter an instance battle. Instance battles only occur during certain quests and missions. Take a moment to see the read the information displayed in the active help window before answering the call of duty. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, duty calls. Commencement battle for level sync is in effect. If you are above the maximum level, it will be synced as follows. Okay, hang on. Special inst instances. You're about to enter a special instance. These areas are reserved for important battles which feature unique environmental conditions or powerful boss enemies. Instance objectives can be confirmed in the duty list. Uh, okay. For the duration of the battle, you'll be unable to pass beyond the red line displayed on the field. You'll be automa you'll automatically leave the instance once all quest objectives have been met. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I, I guess it looks like a mission we've got to do, right? So let's give it a shot. I've got no idea what I'm doing. Oh, Sultan Tree, hallowed spirit of my line, forgive my weakness. My failings have cost us dear. No. Show yourself. Uh, I'm right here. <sighs> As you command, O Lilira. Forgive my selfish desire to assure your welfare. Oh no. I don't recall requesting an escort. Simply pretend we never met and continue on your way. We both know I can do no such thing. It isn't safe for you here alone. It isn't safe for anyone. Not with this etheric disturbance. It's as though the dead are watching us. And I'd prefer not to join them, <laughs> if it's all the same to you. Ah, you must be the one that Papa Sean mentioned. Congratulations on finding our elusive young charge. You'll have to forgive her impetuousness. What she lacks in discipline, she makes up for in stubbornness. <laughs> you should return with us. The station master will be eager to thank Lady Lilira's protector in person. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, that can't be good. Alas, the station master will have to wait. <laughs> Clearly, I have some help for this battle. Dear Lilira, for my sake, please stay out of harm's way. Wow, it's like arguing with an angry China doll. As for you, dear friend, for Lilira's sake, please stay in harm's way. <laughs> please stay in harm's way, okay. Oh my god, what have I gotten myself into? It's uh, level 12 Badanga. Level Sync. Level Sync is a system which allows players to participate in lower level duties by adjusting their levels. Yep. When your level is synced, uh, your gear will be automatically lowered experience and I really need to get into this battle don't I rather than read that
I've forgotten how to dodge. Leave the big one to me, you handle the rest. Alright, Mr. Brave Fighter Dude. Oh, I can actually handle these ones. Damage. Maybe I should fight that. Don't put your blade away. Will you get out of the map? Go, girl. Okay, now what do we do? I know, right? Oh boy. <laughs> Dies gruesomely. <sighs> What's that? Yeah, my thoughts exactly, Rosalore. I like my pointy sound. I'm not sure I like this though. What's going on? Let it better not be a floating dinner plate or I'm in trouble. More trouble. Hear. Feel. Think. Crystal Bearer. She's <laughs> like, what am I standing on? I am Hydaelyn, all made one. A light there once was that shone throughout this realm, yet it has since grown dim. And as it hath faltered, so hath darkness risen up in its stead, presaging an end to life. For the oh, sake no. of all, I beseech thee, deliver us from this fate. The power to banish the darkness dwelleth in the crystals of oh, light. Dear. Journey forth and lay claim to them. There's no pause on this, is there? I know. Wow. 
by thy deeds shall the crystals reveal themselves to thee. Only believe, for the light liveth in thy heart. Well. Where am I? Ah, coming around now. Would you mind telling me what that was? <laughs> hmm, if I only knew. A denizen of the void, at any rate. The void sent? Yeah, but how? The question isn't how, but who. We're not dealing with bookless bandits. Clearly. Don't suppose the answer came to you in a dream? Not really. No sooner did you fell the beast than you fell asleep. Too much ether, no doubt. Wow. I Interesting. Picked. I hadn't considered the crystal. Clearly. But of course, this changes everything. Uh, what? <laughs> hmm? Oh, just thinking aloud. At any rate, we haven't a moment to spare. I must return and report this at once. I leave Lady Lilira in your capable hands. What? How dare you pass me about like a swaddled babe? Uh-oh. I shall return and tell them myself. <gasps> wow. As you wish, your impetuousness. I suspect we shall meet again before long. Uh, and you are? Until then, do try and stay awake. What? No, I know, I give him that look too, Rosalore. Rude man. Where am I meant to be going now? Report to Papa Shan. Alright, well that looks promising. Let's go this way. We've killed our snapping shrews. I mean, I should probably practice my, um, my uh, ability to, I don't know, murder things. Maybe pick up some more bits and bobs along the way. I don't know. But now I'm rather curious. Oh. I'm rather curious as to... As to what goes on. I know, what did I just pick up? A piece of animal sinew. Papa Shun's somewhere around here, isn't he? He is. He's right on the railway line. You know, I should be able to find him with a landmark this big, but you, you never know. Thank the gods you've returned. You had us all so worried. You do realise what would happen if a person of your noble stature were to be injured or worse? Why, her grace the sultana would be beside herself with grief and so would her subjects. I dare say they'd be weeping in the streets. But I, I've already given you cause to eat, Papa Shan. You and the people of Volta. Please. 
please, you're, you're not to say such things. We will find it, I swear to you. It's not my place to make demands, my, my lady, but I beg you, please stay out of harm's way. Well, I apologize for causing you undue worry, Papa Shan. I shall refrain from traveling unescorted in future. Oh, good. Hey, look at the size of these guys. Wow, another cutscene. Oh my gosh, I cannot thank you enough, Rosalore. I understand you fought bravely to protect Lady Lalira from void sent fiends. For your gallant service, you deserve all the riches in the royal vaults. Alas, a small token of my gratitude is the best I can offer. Oh, a sarcastic man with a strange contraption strapped to his shoulder. I see you met Thancred. He's a scholar who spends his days investigating oddities in the ether. Rather too fond of the sound of his own voice for my liking, but perfectly harmless. As for you, Rosalore, you're just the sort of adventurer we need around here. I pray you show the same kindness to the people of Thanlan as you did to us today. Okay. Alright. Oath gauge unlocked. Achievement unlocked. Stick them with the pointy end. <laughs> Level 5. Action learned. Iron will. Uh, now, what was I supposed to do with those? You can now accept the next class of jobs quests. Uh, not... Quests are offered up not only for Yun Gil items, but also class specific items. Uh, okay, so catch a breath, deliver the package. And, okay, so they're both, so Horizon and Scorpion. So what does this do? Okay, the symbol increases the defensive stance Iron Will is in effect, which increases enmity. You can view the job gauge description at any time from the actions and traits menu. Uh, character, actions and traits. It's under P. I'm not going to, probably not going to remember that. Okay, so Rampart, Rampart. Oh, okay, this is Iron Will. Okay, what's this? Shield Bash. Oh, man, I'm, I'm never, I'm never going to get this. <laughs> All right, but we're going to try. We're going to try anyway. Okay, so in my hunting log... Ladybug. Okay, so we need to go to the 80 sins of Susano for Cactuans. Hammerly for Hammerbeaks. Blackbrush for Antling Workers. Hammerly for Earth Sprites. Blackbrush for Spriggan Grave Robbers. Blackbrush for Gladiator Thingamy What's it? Gladiator. Oh no, for Chichun, Shell Sweepers, Antling Soldiers in the Clutch, Ryzen's Edge. Alrighty. And once we get all of those done, we get a reward. <sighs> I'm not sure we can do this. Let's try. What's this? This is my gauge. Can I move it around? No, it's just going to stand there like an irritating thing. Kicking the Hornet's Nest. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I see, I see, I see. Missions. We're going to do all the missions that we ever see on, on, on here, so... Sisodoa, how can I help you? Ah, uh, step nine. Sisodoa needs a reliable adventurer to deliver a gift to the coffer and coin. I can do that for you. You're an adventurer, yes? If you're not otherwise occupied, I have a favour to ask. I've resolved to repay a debt of gratitude which I owe to the owner of the coffer and coffin. For this purpose, I've purchased from the royal plantations a prodigiously plump pumpkin, a particularly popular piece of produce. Alas, I cannot part this place to procure and proffer the pumpkin. You see, the scheduled shipment for the Nana Nanawa mines for which I wait is late. I would prevail upon you to pick up the pumpkin in my stead and see it safely to the coffer and coffin. Uh, present this receipt of purchase to Gagari at the royal plantations and she will yield it to you. I apologize for asking you to attend this time-consuming task, but I truly appreciate your assistance. Uh, sure, not a problem, I guess. Uh, now, there was another tantalizing little exclamation mark somewhere on my map but I don't see it oh wait there's something there okay well, well why don't we dawdle that way it looks like we've got a few things on on our way that we can do 
It's not that far. Okay, if I'd known it was that close, I wouldn't have been so worried. I can't jump the fence. Oh, no, I can. This is a game I can jump things in. Awesome. And there's my other exclamation mark. Let's talk to Gagari. If Sister Doa doesn't come calling soon, this particular specimen shall sadly be past its prime. Uh, here, I have a, a thing, a, a proof of purchase. Ah, so you're to deliver this decadent delight. I can say with confidence that any gourmand would be grateful to, for such a grand gift. Here is the pumpkin. I hope it meets with Roger's approval. Fresh produce is somewhat scarce in these parts, and as such we're always deluged with demand. You know the way to the coffer and coffin, correct? It is beyond the bridge to the northwest. Look for a place where labourers lounge. Where local labourers lounge. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go and talk to... Hihiyaja? Hihiyaja? Um, the slaying of the shrews. Hihiyaja needs help thinning out the snipping shrew population. Sure. Thandaland has ever been a barren region. Believe me when I say it takes no small amount of effort to make crops grow here. We've even introduced earthworms to the soil in order to enrich it. Alas, they've been nigh eradicated by snipping shrews, burrowing critters native to these parts. Unless we save the earthworms, the entire plot won't yield so much as a single pumpkin next harvest. Won't you help us by thinning out the shrew population? The shrew mills will be the best place to start. The shrew hills will be the... The shrew hills are probably our shrew mills. So, um, anyway, let's, um... Okay, I'm inside this little orange circle. Shrew Hills, I see. Oh, I killed it. Okay, let's try this one then. another shrew hill right kind of like really bad tempered moles aren't they okay ah and we'll report to the nice man who gave us the job I know I'm Thank you, friend. You truly are the champion of earthworms. Now we can look forward to a plentiful harvest of pumpkin. I wonder which ones will grace the sultana's plate. I don't know. Maybe all of them if you're lucky. Wow. 900 XP plus 100%. That's pretty good. Oh, wait. Another mission? Are you sure? Hihiaya can point you in the direction of... Oh, I'll take that. An idle adventurer is a sorry sight. I've no need of assistance at the moment, but perhaps someone at the coffer and coffin wants, wants for a helping hand. Well, Wilburu, the resident chef, comes to mind. The man is obsessed with inventing new dishes, and I hear his current fascination is fish. If you were to donate some for his cause, I'm sure he'd be grateful. Now, I'm a simple farmer and don't know much about fish, but I do know what I like, and I like Oribon. You won't find a more succulent fish in these parts, I tell you. If you have a mind to give some fish to Wawaburu, I can wholeheartedly recommend Fatty Orobon. Orobon. Four slices or so should be enough for him to experiment with. But I don't know how to fish. How do I fish? Uh-oh, you're going to have to learn. Alrighty, let's go this way. Trotting off across the spineless basin. dun dun dun, -dun. I wonder if I can go across all of this water. Wait, there's an Oribon. Can I, like, attack it? <gasps> yes! It's, okay, this is fishing with your sword. Man, I like this style of fishing. Wow, I, I get it. I have one. Okay, all right. We've got this. We're going to fish with our sword. We're going to actually activate our seven, whatever that is. And one. And three. And grab that, whatever that is, Arabon. <laughs> oh, 
I know. What am I doing? No. I know. One day, one day, I'm going to be one of those people you watch and go, "Wow, wait, how long have they been playing?" But right now, it's like, "Oh my God, why doesn't she just stop?" <laughs> because I can only get better one way. That's why. Alrighty, have I got my slices of fatty arabon? Cool. Now, are these things worth experience? They are. Well, okay. Let's have a little bit of extra arabon then. Oh, whoa, what was that? Okay. Alright, I know, there's no valid target. Oh my gosh, I should go over them all, but um, anyway. Oh, I like this jumping thing. And I like my iron will. Oh, antling workers! Oh my gosh, yes, we so have to pick on these guys. Oh, maybe that was a bad idea. Oh, what's that? Oh no, that can't be good. I, I think maybe I should deal with it pretty quick. Beast skin blood. It's like uh, from the swarm of things. Does that happen every time you kill an antling worker? I think I have to kill three of these, by the way. So there's like um, a speedy marker thing up the top there. Oh, we're getting better at this? We're getting better at this. Alright, now if I go H... Yes, we've done all our antling workers. They were supposed to be in Blackbrush, so I'm guessing we're also going to be looking for Spriggan Grave Robbers. And... Chichen Shell Sweepers. Alright. We, we've got this, maybe. Am I going in the right direction still? Kind of. Okay, there's a Sifid Cloud over there. I did not see that on my list. I'm going to very bravely avoid it. What's in here? Fate joined. Oh! <gasps> Oh no, I joined a thing I wasn't sure I was ready for. Oh, okay. Hey, it's a hammer beak. Do these guys need a... Oh my god. They may need a hand. we'll take out this one. Oh no okay they I'm, I'm supposed to like those okay right all right everything okay no I leveled up that's a couple of good things where's my mouse over here what am I supposed to be doing in here
get myself killed. I completed it? What was I doing? <laughs> Don't know, right? Hang on a minute. Is that one of those things I had to kill in the in the thing? A hammer beak. Yes. Alright, let's go and play with the hammer beak. Oh, this was a bad idea, right? Killed it. Okay, there's bound to be another hammer beak somewhere around. I saw a couple over there. I don't want to take on two at once. This one looks like he's on his own, so can I pick on this one? I know! I know, how rude is that bird? Oh, right, don't stand in front of them when they do that. Okay, once a fate is complete, a window detailing a reward will be displayed. Rewards are distributed to all even event participants and are based not only on success but on individual contributions. The more active you are in completing event objectives, the greater your contribution will be deemed. Your uh, contribution is indicated via the gold, silver or bronze medal that appears on your reward window. Oh, maybe I should have paid some more attention to that. I was just excited about the thing. Alright, well, we had to go this way anyway. I'm going to try and avoid these specific cloud things, they look a bit savage. Um, and besides they're swarms, I hate swarms. Um, all clear on the western front, you're clearly not the person I'm looking for. Oh wait, so maybe the person I'm looking for is, oh don't go down the... Okay, you're just lucky you can bounce girl. So maybe what I'm looking for is under the mountain. Yes. Haha. <laughs> fish, fish, futile. There are no suitable species, but I shall not surrender. Uh, well, what about some of these? Oh, but of course. But wait, how did you know of my Epicurean endeavor? Well, it matters not. The solution you suggest is sensational. Satay with salt, a squirt of sun lemon. So simple yet sublime. Fish is a costly commodity here in Thanaland. Were it not for your local largesse, I would have been forced to fork out a fortune to have some brought here. Hither. Thank you. Uh, welcome. Options. I can have a recast potion for hit points. Um, I'm going to go with the hit points, maybe. It's probably not a... Yay! Uh-oh. Now, of course, he wants more ingredients, doesn't he? Yes. Uh, tasting of the shrews. Warbury needs an adventure to furnish him with fresh shrew meat. Sure, no problems. Ah, bugger. My stores of shrew meat are nearly naught. The meat is indispensable ingredient for making my smoked shrew loaves, which are famous for their fantastic flavour. Fortunately, I am no fool. In preparation for this possibility, I have set two barrel traps outside our establishment. Alas, I am not accustomed to butchering live beasts. If you could do the deed in my set and bring me the meat, I can continue to cook. I can go and do that for you, but first I have another delivery to make. Roger. Drink for your lassie. You won't be get better ales or spirits for your coin than at me place. Uh, sure, but I brought you a pumpkin. What's that? We six a door asked you to bring this here to me. Aha, <laughs> so even that foul mouth drunk knows the meaning of remorse. Reckon this is for the time I carried his drink sodden arse back home. But the hell's an honest god to God's pumpkin from the royal plantations. I can't wait to see what the cooks will do with her. The lads here scoff down beastly amounts of meat and it's starting to tell on their health. It'll be good to get more vegetables in their bellies, assuming I can get the stubborn bastards to try something new. Thanks for your help, lassie. Cool. Okay. Uh-oh, and now of course he has another quest for me. I learnt the roll action. Low blow. What's it? Roll action. Is that this? <gasps> yes. Okay. 
Uh, let me talk to young Roger again. Prudence at this junction. Roger hears all sorts of information in his line of work, some of which may be, be useful to you. Word is Blackbrush Station surely undermanned. The stone torches there can't get a moment's peace. Bloke by the name of Warren is hoping to bolster their numbers for a short-term assignment or two. If you fancy putting a few extra gill in your pockets, you could do worse. Uh, okay. You can view, equip and remove gear by either selecting the character under character from the main menu or by pressing C on your keyboard. To equip an item, first select the desired slot. This will open your armory chest from which you can select the item you wish to equip. Finally, from the subcommand menu, select equip to put on the gear. What have I missed? Ah, uh, okay. Oh, I see. Wait, wait, wait. So, sword. Will you put your pants back on, man girl? Okay, hat. I'm, I'm not sure why they gave me those. Maybe it's in my inventory. Okay. Oh, grade one dark matter. What are you doing with that in your backpack? Okay, I don't know why it gave me that. All right. Actually, I'm curious to see how we're doing with our classes and jobs. Well, we're level... Where are we? How do we get that? Never mind. Probably by killing things. We are gladiators after all. Alright, where are we at? Uh, the tasting of the shrews. Slay the captured shrews. Because the cook can handle the meat, but he can't handle the obtaining of it. Alrighty, we can help the cook. Hey, helping a cook is good, right? What on... Possibly not messing with the level 50 of Jang is a good idea. A shrew bullet, best for lashes out. I know, don't just look at it, Rosalor. Do something with it. Uh, no, that's not a shrew deer. There's another barrel over here, though. We should we should interact with this one. All right, that's two. Oh no, we get to deliver it now. Okay, good. So we've slain our three antling workers, so I'm going to leave them alone for a little bit. Level 35. Maybe I won't mess with that. Um, I'm also not sure who this is and why I need to talk to him, but hey, he's got a fancy little shield thing over his head. Warren. Someone mentioned him. Looking for work perchance? If so, you could have, couldn't have come at a better time. We stone torches are cell swords hired by Amagina and Sun's mineral concern to protect its interests. Our primary duty here is to keep the tracks clear of pests, and it is for this purpose that we require your aid. I should point out, however, that it can be messy work and liable to get messier still if you're ill-prepared. A single piece of gear can mean the difference between life and death. I'll not have it on my conscience that I sent an ill-equipped adventurer to an untimely demise. See to it that your arms and armor are in order. When you're ready, present yourself to me again. Equip your head, body, hands, leg, and feet with gear of item level 5 or above before turning, returning to speak with... Okay. What? Why am I? Why is he green? Did I did I do the thing? Maybe I have. So you ready for inspection? Mm, good. Everything appears in order. Yet know that naught is guaranteed in this world. Fate is a fickle mistress. After all, at any rate, capable adventurers like you are few and far between. I would not have you throw your life away. I've had to bury too many comrades who brushed aside cracks in their hauberks and dints in their helms. No matter what you face, do not disregard the importance of your gear. Oh. Hang on. Uh, okay, Disciple of War. Okay, plus 20 and plus 11. I, I kind of like this idea. Let's... And then I guess we go to see the character. 
and we go to here and we put on the hemp in action. Wow. Okay. Uh, Warren has worked for an adventurer willing to exterminate the Coblins attacking all wagons. Sure. Let's get to it, shall we? All wagons pass through this station every day, but not without incident. Wagons coming and going from the dispatch yard to the south must pass through a tunnel by Fesca's watch. A tunnel in which some genius saw fit to put an ore storehouse, creating ideal conditions for a coblin nest. So now the ore-loving beasts have taken up residence in the tunnel we dug and we're practically delivering meals to their doorstep. No more. Inside the tunnel in question you'll find a narrow fissure where the coblins hide. Use this silver ore cluster to lure out the creatures, then slay them. Oh, I'm still going to get myself killed. Uh, Alright, let's also talk to Ethelgith. Ethelgith is concerned for the welfare of a fellow sentry. Sure. See that bloke over there? Name's Osbert and he's hurt bad. Now, it ain't exactly my job to mind his business. I'm a torch, he's a blade. But at the end of the day, we're both people, you know what I'm saying? Any road, I went over to him just earlier, asked what's wrong, but he refuses to tell me this stubborn bugger. Seems his pride's more important to him than his life. What is it with men and acting tough? I tell myself I've tried, but if the fella ends up kicking the bucket, I don't want that on my conscience. I know this is sudden, but could you try and talk him into drinking a high potion? I need a, a sleep a great deal better for it. I'd sleep a great deal better for it. I ain't got one on me, but one of them fellas over yonder sells them. So go buy a high potion for my conscience. And, uh... Why is that locked? Well, I don't know. Let's talk to it. Bloodied and bowed, small talk. Small talk. Oh, bloodied and bowed. There we go. Breathe, Osbert boy. Just breathe. Pain is just weakness. Leaving the gods, damn it, my head. Okay. Right, I understand why that's red now. I actually have to go buy the potion first. Um, there looks like there's mail in my mail bird. How do I get to my mail bird? Ah, delivery moogle. I get it. Hello. Greetings, tall one. I am a delivery moogle, Koopo. Uh, I know what you're thinking. Moogles are supposed to hide in trees and avoid contact with outsiders. Why ever would they agree to carry about letters? Why, indeed, if I had my way, I'd be curled up under the canopy of a nice oak, dreaming about some beautiful mooglet with a rainbow-coloured pom-pom, Koopo. But no, the moon had to go and drop from the sky, causing all of that terrible commotion. Etherites were shattered and link pearls rendered useless for moons. The poor wingless people of Ozia had no way of communicating with each other beyond screaming at the top of their lungs, which no one really approved of, Kupo. That is, until the little horned ones asked us to assist them by delivering messages. At first we were wary of showing ourselves, worried that one of you might catch and skin us like you do every other forest fairy. But once we saw how much we were appreciated, we knew we'd found our new calling. And I personally promise to try and not read anything along the way, Kupo. Look what we have here. A new letter has arrived. Just for you, Kupo. Thank you for playing Final Fantasy. Enclosed is a four-piece set of Advent attire. May it... Uh, never mind. The Moogle delivery can be accessed by speaking with one of the many delivery Moogle stations throughout Noisia by clicking on a Moogle letterbox. The service can be used to click... Okay, to deliver messages and guild to anyone on your friend list. Clicking the new button located in the upper right hand corner of the Moogle delivery service window will open the letter editor in addition to comp composing this message. Alrighty. Uh, take all. Oh. Okay, untradable items. You have obtained an untradable item. This item is yours and yours alone. It cannot be sold or traded. Okay. Cool. Unique items. You have obtained a unique item. As this item is special, you can never possess more than more than one at a time. Okay. Is there anything else you want to tell me? No? Uh, good. Right. I need to, I don't know. Uh, I need to buy a potion. Okay. Let me just find where on the map. Right, was it maybe from one of these dudes? Let's 
so is that like a merchant? No, nah, I know my careful count has been compromised. <laughs> okay, no. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. No, that looks like a, a whole new... Well, well, we'll pick this up as well, I guess. Well, Mad Traveller, might I interest you in a Chocobo Porter? Ah, do not tell me this is your first visit to this stop. I shall update my register with your name so that you may access this location in the future. Learn about... well... Porters are similar to rental Chocobos and they can be hired to carry you quickly to various destinations. The difference is being that you cannot control these birds and they will not stop until they have arrived at their destination. On the other hand, porters are trained to take the safest route, meaning that they will never be attacked in transit. Ah, uh -huh. but not just now. Oh, okay, now here we go. Merchant and Mender. Let's talk to him. Um, can I purchase items? And I need a high potion. Uh, do I have that much gill? I think so. I do. Alrighty. Okay, and then I need to offer a high potion to this guy over here. So Osbert. Yeah. Breathe, Osbert. Ah, uh, if only I'd saved a, a high potion. I think this might be the end. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Here, not the end. Well, well, I, I don't really need this, but if you insist, you have my thanks, adventurer. I was resigned to suffering in silence, for I, Osbert the Undying, veteran of countless battles, could not afford to show weakness to my colleagues and our allies. They look to me for inspiration, you see. To think that I was almost brought low by a gentle blow to the head. Ha 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 ha, it was only incapacitated for a few moments, uh, I think. To repay you for your discretion in this delicate matter, I shall share with you my warrior's wisdom. If you must practice your juggling, use heavy stones at your own peril. You idiot. Ah, uh, yes, I will complete... What's that? A fire shard. Okay, complete that. Shops. Myriad of items can be bought. Purchasing an item is as simple as clicking on an item in a shopkeep's inventory, while selling an item is as simple as dragging an item from your inventory of ar or armory chest. You can also sell items by right-clicking. Okay. Ah, uh, I, I gotcha. What am I supposed to be doing? Well, I know, I know what I should be doing. I should be finishing. So let me pick a start point for next episode and we might end this here. Where's my map? So. Okay, we're obviously not going to be doing that. Ah, but we should be heading for the coffer and coffin. And then there's a... Okay, I'm probably not going to make that, but let's toddle. What's this? Hungry hobbledy hoy. We're definitely not going to make that, but we're going to go have a look at this. It's behind me. So one of the things I find hard about playing MMOs is, um, is that you can't just log on and find it in the same state as you left it. So some things won't be there when you look. At least those things don't aggro on you yet. Sifted cloud. Okay, it looks very much... No, you can't go around there. That'll just take you up. Okay. I know, you've got to read your maps. I'm glad they don't stop you as you go, though. So this way... Oops. A hungry hobbledy hoy. It's purple. I don't know what that means. It's going to eat me. Please, ma'am. My baby brother is hungry, but my mother is too weak to feed him. My father left before I reached my third name day. My grandfather died last week in Copper Bell Mines. My sister moved away to a rich merchant's house and no longer visits us. And my older brother lies all day in the corner with his somnus pipe. If you could spare some food. Even the leaves of a cactus would suffice. Um, I, I, I don't know. Well, I'm eight, aren't I? So... Oh no, what did I just do? Uh, okay. 
what have I got to do? Um, so what have I got to do? I have no idea. All right, let's go find out. Oh, cactus leaves. That's what we've got to do. Okay. Cochineal cactuar. That's it there. Oh, unable to attack the fate target. Your your level is too high. I can't do any of it. So why does it let me... So it said five, but I'm... Okay, you're six or more levels above the recommended level for this fate to join. Use the level sync function located in the duty list. Oh, that one. I see. Okay, now I can do it. Let's let's check this out. Yes, okay. So we use the level sync to bring our levels down. I get you now. Cochineal Cactuar. One. I think I've got to kill three of those, don't I? Let's take this one out. Have a cactus leaf. Alright, let's go and kill one more of them if we can find one. That looks promising. Me, you rat. Okay. Now what have I got to do? Oh, I think it's just gather as much of the stuff I need as they need. Okay. Procure edible cactus leaves and distribute them to the starving masses. We can do this. Oh, and I've got to deliver the leaves as well. Oh, okay, hang on. <laughs> I know, where have I got to go for that? Back to the, um, back here. Did you find any leaves? Yes. So hand over those. Thank you, ma'am, but please can I have some more? Right, uh, yes. All right, I think I get this now. So I've got to find them and deliver them. Okay, so I must go faster. Okay, don't click anything until you're done. We've got 10 minutes. Oh, I see. They don't... Right, hang on a minute. I see. Right, so we do have to kill the little monsters. Well, I don't feel so bad about it now. All right. 18. So is that like real time minutes maybe? Is 
that shiny thing over there? I don't know. Looks like I'm gonna... I'm going to see how close we are to fulfilling the requirements. Ah, in a minute. Just head on back. Just see how many she's got. Yes, I found you. Another 14 leaves. Really? Come here, you little turkey. Alright, now I do need to speed myself up because I think we have a time limit. Problem. I may fail it yet. Okay. My baby brother take the leaves and sell them for somnus. So we did it? I don't know. Well, I guess we can always take out some more. I don't think we're going to have a lot of time though. 18 seconds. Alright, let's see if I can get back to her. Okay. There you go. So we, we got enough, I guess. Return. Okay, so we... That's it. Do we automatically go back to our normal level now? Oh, I guess we'll find out. Okay, well that was interesting. I've never done that before. Okay, but guys, on that note, I am going to bid you adieu. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit like. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe. And uh, I think we'll... Maybe go and talk to this etherite before we go. Blackbrush Station. Aha, oh, nice. Now we have another attunement. Etherite. By learning the spell teleport, you're now able to t travel instantly between etherites to which you are attuned. Access the teleportation menu by selecting teleport under travel from the main menu. Unlike other spells, Teleport does not require MP to cast. Instead, use a type of naturally regenerating spiritual energy. A small fee of gil, however, must be paid to the keepers of the Atherite so they can maintain the crystals and defend them from those who would see them destroyed. The fee varies depending on travel distance, remoteness of Atherite location. Registering an Atherite as a favoured destination will reduce the amount of gil required to travel there. Up to three favoured destinations can be registered at any one time. Alrighty. Well, guys, thank you for hanging with me. If you enjoyed the uh, the episode, please hit like. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe. Oops. And I'll check you later. Take care out there.